Hey there, it's Natalie May here. Today I'm going through a quick layout with you that I created for Lindy's Stamp Gang, Mother's Day Lunch. A nice, simple, light, mixed media layout, um, just using some simple elements. I started using um, some Gutentag Teal, Bavarian Blue and Luscious Lime in the Magicals and added a little bit into my palette. So I used it this way so that I can then activate it with water and have something that I can then paint onto my page. Give it a little bit of a stir and then apply it to my cardstock. So what I decided to do here was just layer up some colour. Starting with the Luscious Lime first, always starting with the lightest colour so I can build up from there. Um, I'm on Marshmallow Cardstock. Marshmallow Cardstock is a fabulous um, mixed media cardstock. You've heard me talk about it before. But all I'm doing is just layering up the colour and puddling it onto the page using a nice round brush. So just layering it on there, swishing it around a little bit, lightly blending those colours into each other. I'm then going to add a few little splatters just to add a few more little elements in and around the edges before drying it off. Once dry, I'm using the Paper Rose Circle dies just to create some uh, circle elements out of that, that awesome, awesome pattern I just made. So using my Big Shot, uh, running it up and back, cutting out, I think I cut out, I don't know, a dozen or so, but I only ended up using five of them on my layout. I love these these dies because they cut beautifully the first time and the, uh, they actually have a beautiful little stitched edge around them as well, which is kind of nice. So the next thing I'm going to do is just lay them out on my page, um, just shuffling them around. I just wanted a nice clean straight line all the way down my page. Just using a small amount of Helmer's glue, um, I just adhere them down to my page. I like the glue, it gives me the ability to, to shuffle around a, a little if I need to. Beautiful. So using a, a black pen, I'm just going to, I'm just going lightly around the edges. I want to give it a really rough, almost scribbly sort of look. So each individual circle, I go around nice and tight and then I go back and add some little doodles and some loose lines around the edges. The photo that I'm using is trimmed down from a 6x4 photo. It's a photo of my mum and myself. Um, the paper that I'm using is from the Coco Vanilla Studios papers, uh, the U, I think it's the U Rock collection, and it's got some beautiful blues and greens. I also had a scrap of um, that piece I just cut then is just a shake and spritz technique I did with some magicals earlier, and I've got a little stash of those popped aside. So working from the paper, for, sorry, from the photo down, I start layering up. And, and building a little base behind these photos. I'm now using one of, um, I think that might be a, it could also be a paper rose stamp actually. Um, but yeah, using a, a paper rose stamp and some black archival ink just to add some postage, I think it's like a postage stamp sort of script. I don't know, I really need to have a really good look at that, but it's just a gorgeous stamp and it's got a really lovely font to it, um, adding some black stamping around the page, a um, bit of a scribble, and then, like everything else that Natalie May does, needed some splatters. So covering up my main elements with some paper towel, I then use some of the magicals that I made up a little earlier and just give some really, really light taps on top. So um, of, of all of those three colours. 
Then I had brain wave and went, wow, it really needed to have a little bit more balance down in that bottom corner. So I did a little stamping, added another circle down there, and then added a couple of extra little splatters and bits and pieces. Uh, trying to find the right title, I uh, pulled out some lettering from what feels like I've you know, had it for a million years. I uh, didn't have the right colour, so I just used a black texture, black sharpie, to colour those to suit. Um, and stick them onto my page. Um, so that's about it from from that layout. It's it's pretty much done. Not too difficult. Um, I really really love this style of scrapbooking. It's all about the photograph. It's most important to to record those memories um, and keep keep it really simple. So that's it from me. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Uh, head over to the blog and check out a step-by-step. -step. Cheers.